So I've gone ahead and taken apart my trial truck, as you can see. Um, I did that mainly to replace the transfer case. And while I'm here, I thought I might as well show you how to uh, assemble this in the order of progression that I have on the Thingiverse page. And I'll go through minute details and, and some nice tips and tricks that I found while building it. Hopefully it's helpful. Uh, the first thing we're going to get into are the rear swing axles. So I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down and get right into it. So I've got both the back axles here now. One without the diff casing, which is over here. I'll put that aside. And one with the diff casing. So the thing about these rear axles is that they are probably the easiest part in the whole thing to make. Other than for these metal bits right here. You actually have to go through and drill a hole and tap the hole for uh, these M3 screws to come in. That's the only hard part on these. Now, uh, there's uh, really only four bearings per thing, or per side, and there's an additional two for the diff housing. Now, as you can see, I still have the suspension attached here because I haven't bothered taking that off, but it's just held on with one screw. And as you can see, the wheel attachment hex pieces are red or blue over here. And that's because I just happened to have a lot of red filament at the time when making these. I thought they would be pretty discreet inside the thing, but you can see a tiny bit of red when you have the wheel on. Um, but that's no big deal for me. So let me go a little more in depth into making one of these metal bits right here. So now with the most complicated part out of the way, um, the way that you put this thing up together right here is you simply print all three of these parts and you screw it together with some countersunk screws from both ends and that's pretty much it. You then embed a bearing under this gear right here uh, with a six millimeter shaft that goes all the way out here and then you put another bearing right there. These back parts are really the, some of the simplest and the whole truck and you know it's a good starting place you get you get the hang of how things are gonna go from here on out by making this part first you just file a little bit so you can t uh, so you can drill a hole and then tap it with an m4 thread and then put in an m4 grub screw and that's it an important part of the axle that goes through here is that uh, Obviously this end, the gear on this end is attached with the grub screw, but this end over here is actually atta attached with two screws like that, two M3 screws going through the six millimeter round stock, and they go all the way through. So you have to drill and tap that, or possibly just drill it with a three millimeter drill bit, and then just uh, run the screws through, and that should be fine. You don't need to tap these ones. The suspension parts are I mean, there's just two parts, and then you just use long screws to attach these. And then uh, on the back, you don't need to tighten the springs at all. The springs are just fine for in the back, uh, especially if you have no back cosmetics yet. And these can be tightened pretty easily. I was able to tighten the front ones while they were installed, and I had no problems with that. So, I mean, you just print all the parts. You machine some things out of metal, uh, you screw everything together, and that should be it. Now, I highly recommend that before you put this stuff on a 6mm axle, 
you go ahead and just put it on some smaller axle. This is some M5 or M6 threaded rod that I have everything on because it's a pain in the ass to put everything in here. Especially when it's super tight and you have to get the round stock in there really nicely. So I recommend just putting it in with a loose, slightly loose rod like this. Um, and then once you have everything in position like this, then you can go ahead and slide in the 6mm round stock from over here and push every, push this rod out and everything should stay on the 6mm axle. Now this piece right here, which connects to the next axle, uh, I tried drilling some holes through it, but it's really not necessary. You really don't need to screw it in down there. You can just have it free floating right there. It's not going to move anywhere, especially with the next axle being right here. I really think that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. I'll definitely respond. Thanks for watching.